What is going on, guys? Fabian here from Set Tech. Today, I bring to you the review of the Samsung Galaxy S5 clone MTK6572. <laughs> So once again, I'd like to thank the good friends over at DHgate.com for sending me this particular item out for review. Here I have the Samsung Galaxy S5 in white. It is a dual core version and uh, I've been using it for quite a little while now and I definitely have been able to use it enough so that I can give you guys my full review. And stay tuned to the end of this video as it will be a giveaway video and I will announce all the rules so that you guys can enter to win this particular Samsung Galaxy S5 clone. So as we can see here, this is the device in all of its glory. If you were to compare this to the real one or the original, it's actually pretty darn spot on. As you can see here in the back, we've got the rubberized textured feel here with the Samsung branding here at the top. Your LED flash and heart rate sensor, which the sensor does seem to work on this particular device, so I was very happy to see that. Your 8 megapixel camera, which actually shoots pretty decent quality pictures. And your speaker grill here at the bottom. Around the side here, you have your power button. Around the top, you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, as well as your microphone and IR blaster, although I have not been able to verify if that currently works or not. And around the side, you see here your volume rockers up and down. On the front of the device, you do have your home button with the respective capacitive touch buttons on the side, your back and menu button down below. At the top, you have a 2 megapixel camera along with your ambient sensor, speaker grill, and the Samsung branding here at the top as well. Now, it does pack a 5.1 inch display. It does have a dual core processor 1.3 gigahertz at 1 gigabyte of RAM and 4 gigabytes of internal memory that is expandable up to 32 gigabytes with a micro SD card now taking a look at the device a little bit closer here you have the screen on in its full glory it is a 1920 by 1080 so it is an HD resolution display and uh, I've got to admit it works pretty well I have no complaints really as far as speediness a little bit of lag not too much then again you know just remember that it is a dual core processor we're gonna go in here into about device here at the bottom and just give you and show you what it's currently running it is the model number SMG 900 Android 4.4.2 so it is running KitKat and uh, it's really really nice it's been a pleasant experience we are going to show you guys the Atutu benchmark as well. Uh, I did go ahead and run that test and it gives me a little more detail as far as specs go. So I'm going to show you what kind of scores we've got on this particular device. Again, remember it is the dual core processor on this particular model here. And we scored a 9599 which by the application says not too bad. If we go into device info, here it tells us everything that it's currently running. Again, it's the SMG900 OS is 4.4.2, the quad-core ARM V7 processor. We do have a 1080 by 1920 display, rear megapixel camera at 8 megapixels. Of course, the front megapixel is 2 megapixels, and that's pretty much it for the entire device. It does have 480 pixels per inch, currently working on Wi-Fi, and you do have accessibility to 3G. Now I was able to test this with my AT&T SIM card and had absolutely no issues, no problems. The phone calls worked just fine, the internet worked just fine, although it, they did work unfortunately only at 3G speeds or 4G because it does say or show a HSPA+. Now the other thing I wanted to touch on is that the nice thing about this is that because it's running 4.4.2 you have accessibility to pretty much anything that's in the Google Play Store. So as long as you have an account you have access to the Google Play Store and you're able to download pretty much anything that you're looking for that's available on any other device. As far as the camera goes, we can go ahead and jump into the camera and I can take a snapshot or a picture of my desk here just to show you what the quality is like. And I'm just going to do a quick shot here right off camera here so you guys can see what kind of camera 
is what we're taking here. So as you can see there, not the greatest camera, but not the worst camera. For this particular clone, it's actually one of the better pictures or better cameras that I've seen on the device. For the amount of money you're spending to have something that looks exactly like the original, looks and feels and pretty much functions just like the original, the heart rate monitor also does work on this and I'd like to show that to you guys briefly so you guys get an idea of what it looks like here on camera. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to drop them in the comments section below as I've been using this for quite a while. I may be able to help you guys out in the near future and hopefully we'll be getting some more clone devices from DHK here in the near future to be able to review for you guys. So any questions or concerns that may arise, drop them down below and I'll be sure to address them as much as possible. So you go ahead and go into the heart rate application. You hit the start button and then you're actually going to put your finger on, over the heart rate monitor and it will go ahead and read your heart rate. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So currently it shows that I'm pretty darn calm. My last reading was 91 beats per minute. Right now it's currently showing 73 beats per minute. So I was pretty happy to see that that actually worked on the device. So overall, it's really a great device. I can't complain. Uh, I did have a little bit of stutter and lag, but again, for the price, it's well worth the money. You can pick this device up over on DH Gates website. I will have that link down in my video description. If you're interested in picking this item up, it is available for $120 US dollars. And again, the shipping wasn't bad at all. I received the item in just a few days, and it's definitely worth picking up. Having something look exactly like the real thing that functions and works pretty much just like the real thing is well worth for only $120. So go ahead and pick this device up over on their website. Links all will be down below. And we're going to go ahead and give this particular item away back to one of you viewers. And it's very simple to enter in on the giveaway. All you have to do is drop a comment down below on your thoughts of the device. What you liked the most, what you hated the most, what you wish it had, what you didn't see. And uh, go ahead and follow me over on Twitter as I'll be announcing the winner in just a few weeks randomly at Set Tech Fabian. Very important, follow me on Twitter at Set Tech Fabian so you guys can be notified of the winner. And it is open to anyone in the entire world. I will ship it out once I announce the winners. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching, supporting, and sticking with me. Any questions, anything you guys did not see that you'd like to see in, the fu in future videos or in upcoming videos, or maybe something I didn't cover in the review that you're interested in getting an answer to, Drop them in the comment section below and I will be sure to get back to you on that specific comment. Other than that, thanks for watching, thanks for supporting, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and I will catch you guys on my next video. Peace!